I guess it should come as no surprise to anybody that a guy in the fake education business is hard at work mischaracterizing the opposition to fake education, but it still pisses me off. So yeah, some lying asshole that works for Dinesh D'Souza's old college of Christian bullshit takes issue with American atheists' position on education. But since American atheists' position on education is unassailable, he actually had to make up some different bullshit opinion that nobody on earth ever had and then assign that to American atheists and then take issue with it. Which would be par for the course if the motherfuckers at Newsweek hadn't printed it. But since their standard these days seems to be has words in it, they did. So let me back up to the very important point that American atheists made back in January. Obviously, one of the most visible effects of the pandemic, for parents at least, are the repeated and often sporadic school closures. The efforts to make distance learning work on the fly have been a source of perpetual consternation across the country. But despite all the growing pains, it's actually working out really well for some students and some parents. So that, combined with lingering fears that a lot of folks aren't taking disease prevention seriously enough, has led many parents to give homeschooling a second look long term. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I should point out that I was homeschooled for a big chunk of my childhood, and I learned a hell of a lot more in those years than I did in the ones where I had to wake up at 6 a.m. and listen to a tennis coach read an economics textbook at me. You know, I, I, I mean, I get that it's not possible for all families and that I was lucky to be in a situation where my parents could homeschool, but the kind of one-on-one -on -one self-directed curiosity-driven organic learning that constituted my education is vastly superior to anything that's even possible in a school environment. Right. So when it's done right, homeschooling is a phenomenally good way of squeezing knowledge into kids' heads. That being said, it's not done right all that often. So I was homeschooled because my parents recognized that my inability to refrain from telling people to fuck themselves was problematic with both my teachers and my peers. And they sensed it was getting in the way of my education. And they were right. Far more often, the impetus is finding out that schools are teaching that we did, in fact, evolve from filthy monkey men. So homeschooling becomes a convenient off-ramp for people who don't want their kids to know facts. Even worse, it's a convenient off-ramp for physically abusive parents that don't want other people to see their kids on the regular. And that brings us around to American atheists. See, it's entirely possible to preserve homeschooling as an option without opening up to these perversions. But since those perversions are so often the fucking point, a lot of states are hesitant to enact rules about mandatory testing, review of the home environment, and standardized curriculum requirements. After all, as soon as you do that, you're well on your way to forcing religious parents to admit that evolution is real. And both political parties are hesitant to do anything at all about that, which is exactly why Nick Fish, president of American Atheists, felt the need to bring it up. See, 38 of the 50 states have no requirements whatsoever about the qualifications instructors need to teach in home, right? So, so if a homeschooler hires, let's say, a spelling teacher to come in, that teacher could be Eli. Okay, 41 states have no requirement for evaluating student progress at all. And just in case any laws might accidentally apply to homeschooling, 13 states offer up religious exemptions to whatever poultry requirements exist. In fact, only Arkansas and Pennsylvania have even gotten around to enacting laws that prevent homeschooling in households where one of the adults has been convicted of homicide, aggravated assault, rape, or child abuse. And this is not a small problem. American Atheist's press release pointed to a 2018 study that showed 36% of kids being withdrawn from public schools were living in likely abusive families. And that's to say nothing of the abuse done when you deprive a kid of the kind of education that they're going to need to take care of themselves in the modern world. In other words, it's exactly the kind of thing that you want a civil rights watchdog group like American Atheist raising a stink about. And that brings us to this story's antagonist, Paul Glader. Glader is an associate professor at King's College in New York, that, which is like a real college, except with religion instead of information. I, I mean, you know, look, it's one of America's 221 finest liberal arts schools, but it's still obviously named to trick people into thinking you went to the one in London. Anyway, so Glader writes this whole stupid fucking piece about how much atheists hate homeschooling because I shit you not, we hate it when kids spend time with their fucking parents. That was his takeaway from all the statistics that American atheists offered up about, you know, physical abuse and lack of educational standards that we hate love. Here's his actual fucking line. Quote, it's unclear if these secularists are afraid of children having more time with their parents in general or only for those whose children are completely detached from public schools and whose parents offer religion within the curriculum. 
Right? It's got to be one of those two things that we're pissed off about. You couldn't more clearly mischaracterize the objection if you interpreted the press release as Nick Fish claiming his penis was the emperor of Mars. But that didn't stop Glader from claiming it, and it didn't stop Newsweek from promoting it. And in his half ass attempt to demonize something that was going to, you know, sound scary to his base, he wound up signing his name to an article that indirectly attacked an effort to hold abusive parents accountable. Now, the problem, of course, is that a Christian advocate for homeschooling cannot admit that any of the concerns that American atheists raise are valid. Closing the loopholes that they're talking about also deprives Christians of the ability to hide information from their kids. And for people like him, that's the whole fucking point. At the same time, he can't admit that an organization called American Atheists could have a valid moral concern that the church wasn't already addressing, what with morality being under faith's sole jurisdiction. And look, I'm not asking for fucking perfection here. I'm asking for a motherfucker to refrain from an obvious and gross mischaracterization of another person's position that was clearly crafted to degrade their reputation. And if I can't get that from all the Christians, I'd hope I could at least get it from the goddamn professors of journalism.